lot of fantastic things about the new stadium, and we sent Louie on a tour to give us a behind-the-scenes look at the Yankees' new home in the Bronx. Seventh inning, stretch! Hey everybody, I'm Louie Trellis, and welcome to the seventh inning stretch. So today we're here at the new Yankee Stadium, and we're at Babe Ruth Plaza. We're gonna sneak back in there and give you a behind the scenes tour. Come on, we're gonna show you a little more. The architecture of the stadium was meant to evoke the same feel that you would get from the original stadium built in 1923. Uh-huh, Captain. So whatever you say goes. By the way, if you're late for the game and you're sitting on the upper deck, don't go through gates two or eight. Gates four and six have an escalator that'll take you right up to the top. Come on, what are you doing being late for the game anyway? <laughs> Baseball players are a lot like rock stars. They play in front of huge crowds, they have millions of fans, so it's only fitting that there's a hard rock cafe in the new Yankee Stadium. We are now in the Great Hall. Why is it called that, you may ask? Because it's great, almost the size of an airplane runway. <sighs> Did I say great or what? Hey, check this out. Color photos of modern Yankee greats on one side, and on the back, black and white photos of Yankee legends, all meant to inspire Yankee fans when they enter the stadium. want food? We've got food. You can get nuts, steaks, pretzels, cracker jacks, pizza, Italian delis, Nathan's hot dogs, sausage, Boris head sandwiches, Brother Jimmy's barbecue, ice cream, Dunkin' Donuts, Johnny Rockets, garlic fries. Love garlic fries. Noodle bowls. I mean, just about the only thing you can't get is sushi. Sorry, you can get sushi, actually. steak at Yankee Stadium. Doesn't get any better than that. This way to the field, come on. This place may be modern, but it has a lot of history. The arches, Monument Park, they even angled the stadium in the same direction towards the sun so it would be the same way as when the Bay played. Hey, check this out, a manual scoreboard. People actually change this by hand. It's part of the Yankee Youth Program. Kids actually operate this scoreboard every game. This is the bullpen, where Mariano watches the game, warms up, and makes his dramatic entrance to Sandman so he can close the game. This is the dugout. Definitely wider, definitely nicer, definitely cleaner. Wonder if you're allowed to chew gum in here. Derek Jeter sits right here. Press box phone, I must alert the media. This place is gorgeous. We're upstairs in the media area. Super cool rug. Now this right here is the brain of Yankee Stadium, the control room. Everything as a fan that you see during the game comes from right here. The music, the scoreboard, the videos, everything. This is the press box. I know you must be thinking there are a lot of seats, but media from all over the world come to cover the Yankees. Michael Kay, David Cohn, this is where all the guys announce the game. Nice seats. One of the best places to catch home runs, the bleachers. If you're sitting here, don't forget your mitt. <sighs> the sweet life. Well, if you'd like to enjoy the perks of a luxury suite without shelling out for your own box, you could actually get individual seats. With these individual seats, you can have access to a dessert station and cocktail service. Sweet. A new addition to Yankee Stadium is the New York Yankees Museum. Definitely got to check this out. History of greatness all chronicled right here. We have balls, pennants, jerseys. These are actual jerseys worn. Lou Gehrig's home jersey from 1927. Mickey Mantle autographed and everything. Reggie Jackson's jersey used in the 1977 World Series. 
each ball here is signed by the entire World Series winning team. Amazing. This is Phil Rizzuto's cap during the 1941 season, and he actually has gum stuck on it. I wonder what flavor that gum is. Abe Ruth is the Sultan of SWAT. He used to notch his bat handle every time he hit a home run. This bat right here has 11 notches. When Yankees captain Thurman Munson died in 1979, they left his locker untouched as a tribute all the way up until 2009. Now, when they move the locker in its entirety into the museum. And that's it for my tour of Yankee Stadium. Pretty awesome. We'll be back next time when it's game time. Some hot dogs and uh, enjoy the game. The World